Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager of Sunshine Educational Resources, also known as Sunshine Academy. Welcome to our free online lessons in mathematics. Today we're going to continue with our circle geometry and um, today we're going to prove another theorem which says that angles in the same segment are equal. The theorem which says that angles in the same segment are equal. On the board here, I have a diagram that I'm going to use to prove that angles in the same segment are equal. Now, let's look at this diagram very carefully, and we're going to point out some features of this diagram. Given A and B are point on the same arc of circle A, B, P, Q, as we can see, a and B are point on the same arc of a circle A, B, P, Q. A, B, P, Q. Okay. Now, we want to prove that angle A1 and A2 are equal. Angle A1 and A2 are equal. In the previous lesson, we proved that um, the angle subsumed at the center of the circle is twice that it subsumed at any point on the arc or on the circumference. So today we're going to want to prove that angle A1 and A2 are equal. So to do that we have point A and point B on, on an arc. Okay, so let me put it down to show you what I'm talking about. Now, to prove P angle PAQ, to prove that angle PAQ is equal to angle PBQ. We want to prove here that angle PAQ, angle PAQ is equal to angle PBQ. That is what we want to do now. So for you to be able to do this properly, which I've done in diagram already, you are going to do small construction. I've done it already. You're going to join this point Q to the center of the circle, which is O, and also join point P to the center of the circle, which is also O. So you join point P and Q to the center of the circle, that is at the point O. Now, let's prove now. Now, from this diagram, we can deduce that POQ, this POQ is equal to, is equal to 2A1. POQ is equal to 2A1. We have done the proof in some previous lessons ago. And so, here we just deploy that theorem directly and we use it here so what we're saying here is that poq angle poq is two times two a one similarly poq is equal to two a two poq also is equal to two a two therefore we have that a one angle A1 is equal to angle A2 because from what we've done above POQ is equal to 2A1 POQ also is equal to 2A1 2A2 sorry POQ is equal to 2A2 therefore from what we've done above it means that A1 is equal to A2 quite easily done so that concludes that angle A1 is equal to angle A2. So that is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. In the next lesson, we're going to apply this theorem to solve some problems in cycle theorem. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.